My name is Caitlin No. I'm here at Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley, Massachusetts to talk to you about half hole technique on the bassoon. So, because of the way the bassoon is designed, you will see on your fingering chart that there are some notes for which in the first finger on your left hand, you only cover part of the hole. Now, we call this technique half hole Although you may find on your instrument that you may be covering up only a quarter of the hole or maybe three quarters of the hole, you will be able to feel on your instrument with practice what makes the most sense for you. The notes for which you will find this technique needs to be used most commonly are all surrounding the G on the top of the bass clef staff and the G above the bass clef staff. So, we're talking about G flat, G natural, and G sharp on the top of the bass clef staff. And we're also talking about G and G sharp above the bass clef staff. I'm gonna play those notes for you now. So here we have G flat or F sharp, G natural, G sharp or A flat, and then an octave higher, we have G, and G sharp or A flat. Again, as you play around on your instrument, you may find that certain of these pitches you need to cover more or less of the whole in order to make it speak without cracking. You can consult with your private teacher if you are unsure about this, but you should be able to hear the difference. Because of the way the instrument is designed, these notes just won't speak if you don't use a half hole. Now here's what all those notes sound like without half hole and then with half hole. I'll start with G flat or F sharp at the top of the bass clef staff. G sharp or A flat. G above the staff. And finally, G sharp or A flat. 